Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Dan Schaefer. And I'm Naja Sherman. We have team coverage for you over the next half hour, but we begin in Limestone County. Elkmont High School is closed down for another week due to a spike in coronavirus cases at the Limestone County School, but that did not stop them from hosting their first football game of the season against Randolph School. Way 31's Will Robinson Smith is live at Elkmont High School. He spoke with faculty and a student to get their thoughts about the game tonight. Will? Well, the game here just wrapped up about 15 or so minutes ago after a brief lightning delay, and there were several safety precautions that the school put in place ahead of and during the game tonight. But a student I spoke to says that because the school is closed down right now, that he had second thoughts about whether the game tonight should have happened at all. I'd love to have football back, but um, I don't think we should be playing. The school is shut down for two weeks, and he's just not smart enough to play. Eighth grader Jacob Tucker came out with his family to support his brother, offensive lineman Austin. But because Elkmont High School is shut down for two weeks due to coronavirus cases, he thinks Friday night's game against the Randolph Raiders should have been held off until later. I just think it ain't smart enough to play whenever they have school shut down and had several football players tested positive and had a fever running. Head coach Dwayne Wales says two varsity players tested positive for coronavirus and a few other players on the varsity team have been quarantined from the game. In total, nine students have tested positive for the virus and 58 are in quarantine. He says the school has been very proactive in its response. I feel confident that, uh, you know, the, the measures we have in place are working because we have detected uh, those that, that uh, you know, need to go get checked. Principal Elizabeth Cantrell says the reason the school is closed next week is because eight staff members are in quarantine and it affected classroom learning. As for the game tonight, she says several precautions were put in place like temperature checks, a separate entrance for each team, and encouraging social distancing. We're encouraging the mask, of course. Uh, you know, you will not be permitted into the game without a mask. Um, our announcers, um, we've asked them to announce over our um, speakers to remind them of sanitation stations, remind them of social distancing, and we've even encouraged our families to sit with each other. She says it was important to do everything they could to make the football experience as safe as possible for athletes and fans to give them a taste of a normal fall semester. Our students have already lost a lot. They've lost lots of activities and they've lost lots of memories and, and it's very difficult to take away everything that they have when it comes to opportunities to have those senior memories. Meanwhile, Tucker says many of his friends decided to sit this game out. He hopes that all the safety measures will be effective moving forward. I hope nobody gets it, but I hope everyone has a good season and just everyone's safe. And next week, Elkmont is traveling to face cross-county rivals, the Ardmore Tigers. And the principal here says that even when school does reopen, that'll be next Monday, or Monday, August 31st, I should say, those safety precautions that were in place here tonight will continue for the rest of the season. Reporting live in Elkmont, Will Robinson-Smith, Way 31 News.